Joining us now, Brian Stelter, a senior media correspondent, and B.J. Bernstein, a former prosecutor. Thank you both. Brian, let me begin with you. You have some important new reporting. What can you tell us? A law firm now being brought in by the Weinstein Company to conduct an internal investigation into what happened here. Because, Poppy John, there are a lot of questions about who knew what when, and we don't have all the answers. The board members are denying that they knew about uh, this, this wrongdoing. But it is clear that some staffers looked the other way. Uh, this is a company with about 200 people. Some knew nothing, didn't really ever interact with Harvey Weinstein. Others, however, did know him well, knew he was a volatile, profane executive, and are still stunned by these allegations. As one person said to me, we knew he was a creep, but not a criminal. Uh, so the, this company now facing doubts about its future. As Bryn said, a name change is in the works. We're seeing Harvey Weinstein's name taken off the credits of his shows like Project One Way. But look, wiping away a name is not going to wipe away the stain on this company's reputation. And the question is, should they have known that he was more than just a creep and did what they, is what they did criminal? And BJ, to that end, yeah. we'll talk about his legal liability in a second. But since we started with the board, what kind of trouble are they in legally right now and then I suppose civilly as well? I think it would really be more civil exposure than criminal pr exposure. You know, criminal really is the acts of Weinstein potentially, depending on how they were done and what state and the laws that apply. Civilly, however, if the company knew and there had been complaints or there were reason for them to know and that they continued to ignore it and it was just a joke around the place and that would be found out through dis civil discovery and depositions of all of those people who would be under oath, then the company does need to worry. And ha certainly an internal investigation is important, not only if they're just changing their name, but they have to change the culture because if for anybody, any director, any actor or actress to work with them, they need to make changes. Okay, but BJ, let me ask you this. You have three women claiming rape, four claims of sexual assault, more than a dozen women coming forward with, uh, with harassment claims. And according to the New Yorker reporting, 10 months of reporting, 16 former and current executives at the Weinstein Company said they witnessed or had knowledge of unwanted sexual advances. No current NYPD investigation open. I get there are statutes of limitations on these things, but you have that tape from not that long ago. And the New York DA, Cy Vance, says we didn't have enough to go on. Did law enforcement drop the ball in any respect here? It's, you got to look at it on an each individual case. I mean, the cases that were brought forward under Cy Vance, and he's been in the news lately for dropping some other cases, you know, they probably should go back and look at them, although it may be too late. Any district attorney's office with the new administration, you know, has to look at these cases carefully. And whether it's a felony rape, which would require force mm -hmm. um, or in, against the will, or some lesser sexual assault charges that are misdemeanors, which, again, the statute of limitations, because their mis misdemeanors are much shorter. So certainly complaints are, have to usually be made, but law enforcement can, can do it on their own. I myself was a victim in a case, and it was law enforcement who came to me, because as a young lawyer, I was afraid to appoint, yeah. to, to, to name a judge. So I've been there. I know this from all sides. And so sometimes it does take a direct investigation to go seek out rather mm -hmm. than waiting for the women to come forward. You know, the entertainment world this morning, Brian, is a remarkable place uh, to be. We're seeing Jeffrey Katzenberg, longtime friend of Harvey Weinstein, right? You have done terrible things to a number of women over a period of years. Matt Damon, who was part of so many Merrimax and Weinstein films. I will peel my eyes back now farther than I ever have to yeah. look for this type of behavior. A lot of people have to be asking themselves some very serious questions here, Brian. How much did they let slide by? It's a long overdue period of soul searching. Uh, we can sit here and say things are improving. Uh, we're seeing progress in this country. Women are taken more seriously than 10 or 20 years ago uh, about claims of sexual harassment and assault. That is true. We are in the middle of a profound cultural shift. But at the same time, there is still a power imbalance, a big power imbalance in Hollywood, mostly male executives, some of an older generation, green lighting movies, picking who's going to star in films and TV shows. This does not end with Harvey Weinstein. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. Brian Selter, thank you for the reporting. I know you're all over this. B.J. Bernstein, we appreciate the legal expertise. Coming